Hey guys, Pony here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon X Wonderwalk. And in this episode, we're going to continue our way to Silage City on our way down to Ambrick Town. Now, it appears I knew I was doing something wrong because I went in the wrong a I went in the wrong cave area. I knew there was a doctor on the way to where you're supposed to go. I was like, am I in the right one? I'm not even gonna bother with the Zubat because I'm at such low health. I'm actually gonna switch Ralts out just because it's so low on health. I could heal it. I have the potions. But... It's... Unless something is at like full health, I can't do it. I'll use Zangoose. I don't really use this thing much, and I kind of want to try out Slash. So let's go to the right cave. Correct cave is down here. Here we go. This is the correct cave. Same area. Here's a doctor. Oh, you just heal me. Sweet! In that case, let's not use Zangoose. I need Fluctuate. Because I want to evolve this thing. Hopefully, this episode. I'll fight this thing. It's probably Zubat. Yep. I mean, I have nothing really super effective against you. Um, quick attack. Just because it's stab for now. Nice, too bad. This is gonna make this battle take longer. But what's stronger? 35, 40, 50. Whoa! Since when is tackle 50? What? When did. Is that uh, as of Gen 6? Because I know Gen 6 boosted a lot of move. Um. A lot of the power of some moves. Maybe even Gen 5 did that, because I know knockoff has changed immensely. Like, it used to be like 20 power or something. Like, it wasn't even good to really even use it. I said the word even too many times in that sentence. And here we are, Route 8. Now, before that, and before we get the... Um... Coastal Kalos Pokedex, I think it is. Let's heal again. <laughs> it's because of that little damage that I took in that battle. No. No. Can you find Meditate in here? I kind of want to fight it. Just because I actually have type advantage on this thing. Oh, you jerk. I don't know why you can find Meditate in caves, because, like, you can find it in Mount Coronet and, uh, Diamond Pearl and Platinum, too. Like, why is it so common in caves? It's such a random Pokemon to put in there. Oh, God. Thank God I kill it. Yeah, I kill it. Because if this thing all of a sudden got, like... Cotton Guard, just plus, I think like plus three defense. It would kill. Stop right there. What did I do? I swear, it's not mine. <laughs> we didn't mean to surprise you. How are you and Fletchland doing? Good. Haven't you wondered how a single Pokedex could possibly cover a region as big as Kalos? Well, it can't. That's why we're here to power up your Pokedex. Ghost of Kalos Pokedex was added. Ghost of Kalos Pokedex will be on your Pokedex menu, so tap it to select it. New encounters help people and Pokemon grow and mature. We'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage. I bother to put no effort into voices or accents. Okay, what do we have to catch? And it is a Zangoose. Oh, for all I know, Zangoose could have been caught here. I don't know, I'll check. It was around like level five when we caught it when we got it traded though. YOLO? YOLO ball? Nope. 
No chance. Oh, I would have just gotten pursued. That's resisted. That does nothing. I need to put you to sleep, but maybe I want to get some... Wait, I got rid of infestation, didn't I? No, I got rid of supersonic. I'm going to get some residual damage. Of course. Oh god. Another one of that would have killed. I'm actually kind of glad he pursued it and didn't do anything else. No, I can just hit him with like a gust. Like, oh, screw you. <laughs> you jerk. Doesn't Sleep Powder have low accuracy? How am I landing these? 75%. I've missed very few of them. Can you take one gust? Please take one gust. Please. Yes. Maybe another one? But I'm not going to risk it right now. I'll risk it if this doesn't work. Angus is caught. For a second I thought it said six again, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Level 17. When do you evolve? Caught Zangus. Um. Hi. <laughs> oh my god, I'm an idiot. Fletchling. It's weird that Fletchling is the first thing that comes up on Google. 17. Sweet. If I hadn't looked that up, I wanted to be surprised. Man. Yes, Fletchling. You are one step closer to being the ultimate bird. Except, yes. While Talon Flame is amazing, I still have a place in my heart for Staraptor. Fletchinger. At least you look cool. Ember. Yes! Fire move. Even though it's special. Screw it. And Ember. Yay! Now go away. Go away so I can Under trade. And save. Yes. I would like to wonder trade my high. Modest natured thank yous. <laughs> Think you're kind of backwards, man. I should change my like message to Wonderlock or something. I don't know. Maybe. It'd be a good idea. Come on, give me someone. You, hello? Wonder trade? Hello? Hello? Ah, oh, I was just gonna do the <laughs> Spongebob time card thing. Do I do a... I don't think my impression of it is any good, though. 2,000 years later. What do we get? Ooh. Interesting. That evolves into a dragon. So that would be interesting for the team. It's still, I believe, a water poison type. I think.
water poison, right? I'm gonna check it. Why not at least check the thing out? Um, yeah, poison water. With poison point and his tackle, smoke screen water. It's level one, so I doubt this thing was bred for a reason, but apparently it was. There are a lot of items here. I could go that way to get some of them. I'm gonna go that way. Eh. Rock. Single rock. Why do you not have an item? What? Item? Item! HP up. Okay. That's actually kind of useful. Because I have very low HP on everything. I wouldn't consider doing super training cheating. It can get me items like stones if I need them. And... I can get my Pokemon stats up. I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, it's just stupid. Hm. Whatever. Uh-oh. Kill it. Uh-oh. Um... Fairy type. When do you get- you're level 19, when do you get Dragon Rage? Okay... Dragon Pulse, Outrage, Dual Chop... Dragon Rage at 10, oh god. Fairy type. Keep trying to lower my speed. Oh. Thanks. Ooh, yay, fairy typing saves me there too. That makes assurance neutral. The AI sees that it's doing damage, though, so it uses it. Yeah, I'm just gonna use a super potion. I could use, like, a potion, and then if I needed to, an orange berry, but... Meh. Because a crit would do, like, 20, so I'm not going to risk that. I'm not going to risk, like, max damage in a crit. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I would have been fine if I just used a potion, but uh, after getting hit after using the potion and then trying to attack again, I'm not sure. And who do we want to use? Um, you can go there. Zangus just needs to be used. At this point, you're my well esteemed member. <laughs> Which is sad, because I just got this Fletchling. Oh, hi, Zangus. Meet Zangus. There's just like a random dead Viper that they're fighting over. <laughs> Who gets to eat it? Gross. No, Kecko, go away. Oh, you, you gave me a nice thank you. Sorry. Die. Immediately die. Jeez, jeez. Everyone is so close to leveling up. Oh my god. That experience wasn't that good. What? Oh, wow. I didn't expect that. Sweet! Sand Slash. Nice. Two evolutions this episode. 
I have some layout changes to make. You want to learn anything? I like Sand Slash. I had one on my team. Ooh. I went on my team when I played Yellow. That's why I'm excited for Red, Blue, and Yellow to come out. I don't know if I'll be able to record it, since if I get it on this DS, it'll most likely in be, ja yeah, be in Japanese. Ooh, Crush Claw looks good. I don't know what to get rid of. I guess Fury Cutter is kind of pointless. Yeah. It's kind of pointless, like, I already have Fury Cutter on Zangoose. What? I forgot. Oh my god. I know what I'm titling this episode. So many evolutions, jeez. And two back to back. Okay then. Zangus, do you want to evolve now? Just kidding. Maybe Zangus will evolve into Arceus? Please? Or Zekrom? You know, Zangus, Zekrom, makes sense. Hi, Bagon. Eat my mongoose. Take this, you stupid dragon. Oh, nice, you leered me. That did something. Goodbye. I bet two quick attacks would have killed this thing. I love having stab quick attack on stuff. I don't know why. Normal types are actually very good if they get quick attack. <laughs> or extreme speed. Which I don't think any normal types do. I want it, but I can't get it yet. <laughs> I'll probably fight those trainers if I need grinding. At this point, it's just tedious sticking trainers and various places that they aren't needed. Is it down here that I need to go? I feel like it's to the left. Because why would there be trainers there? Down here is probably just grass and maybe a couple items. Oh, this route is always... I've always been so like weirded out by this route because it has such random Pokemon. Mienfu, Bagon, Sangoose. What the heck? Oh, here's this puzzle. Which you actually kind of want to mess up on. Because you can get an item. I didn't mess up. Why do I have to be so flawless? That wasn't cocky. Yeah, Leaf Stone. That saves me. Well, like I said, super training. Because you can get items like Leaf Stones, Water Stones. That's only after you get the secret super. Uh, like, yeah, I think it's secret super training. What if it was just like mega super training? Hi there, neighbor. Hi, Serena. This is Amber Town. You just go through the aquarium to get to Silage City, but first we should go to the fossil lab and have them tell us about fossils. We might even learn something about these mysterious stones related to Mega Evolution. Yes, we get the fossil. And I get to ride a Rhydon. Or. Rhyhorn. Your mom's a Rhyhorn racer, you should know this. It doesn't make sense, though. It's Rhydon. Rhydon. Instead, it's Rhydon, Rhyhorn. You get to ride on Rhyhorn. You don't get to ride on Rhydon, though. This is the place, right? Yep. This is Le Place. I was so confused for a second. Why it delayed? Wait for me! Welcome, future archaeologists. You were drawn here by a mysterious fossil drone out. Oh my god, that voice is creepy. My name's Serena, and this is Brendan. 
We're researching Mega Evolution. We were wondering if you know anything about it. Oh, so you're Professor Sycamore's students. I've heard about you. Mega Evolution, you say. I'm sorry, but I... But all I know is that it has something to do with those mysterious stones. Still, since you're students of the Professor, you might know about Pokemon fossils, correct? Yes. Wonderful, I expect no less from Professor Sycamore's students. That's right, fossils are a legacy of prehistoric Pokemon. You go to a dig site to see them firsthand. Oh, I see. Well, if you don't know anything about Mega Evolution, then... Hold on! The Pokemon can be restored from fossils. You just might have something to do with Mega Evolution. Nope. <laughs> the assistant... Yeah. The assistant in Glaring Cave just... Uh, right now might know about that. Except he's kidnapped. What should I do? Well, since I'm already here, maybe I should go talk to the assistant. Are you going to Glittering Cave, Brennan? Did you not ask me? You asked me, but okay, I guess I don't have to answer. Doesn't one of you give me something? Don't you give me something? Wait, what? Pokemon called Gen- Oh, that's why. It's like, you give me something, but I can't remember what it was. Wait, what? You have the kind of face a Rhyhorn would like. I wonder why. Off we go! To this place. I like how I just immediately know to get on the Rhyhorn's back. I don't like assume, oh, it might be an angry Rhyhorn that's just sitting there and I should probably steer clear of it. Nope, just hop on the thing's back. I guess there was a sign, but who's gonna pay attention to one sign? Good thing I didn't keep talking and just kill this encounter. You're a ground type, you can take a slash. Not risking it. You can take a stab quick attack. Yeah. That does enough damage. That's good. Yeah, it does a decent amount of damage. Yeah. So instead of having to go into to Butterfree and sleep powering this thing, I'm just gonna put ball it. I'm probably never gonna use that netball. Oh, you jerk. Okay, now I might want to go out into Butterfree because Zangoose is about to dead it. My team looks so cool now. I have a Curlia. Oh yeah, that was who I was forgetting. Tentacle, do you want to evolve? When do you evolve? Tentacle, tentacle. Oh, I had it. I had it. I had it. There it is. 30. I got it. Luck. Yeah! <laughs> I don't think I've missed one. I'm trying not to be cocky, but I seriously don't think I've missed one. See, your eye is closed. And you have little lines as if there were eyelids. But you don't have eyelids. That's just logic for you. Okay. And catch it. Catch it. Yes! Hippopotas. Just because it's kind of a slow process, I'm probably not going to trade that thing until after I catch the thing in Glaring Cave. But do I want to catch the thing in Glaring Cave? Or do I want to... Or, well, do I want to catch the thing... Well, I have no... Yeah, I have no choice. I have to fight the stuff that's trying to block my way through the cave anyway. Which is like Kangaskhan and Onyx. So, oh god. Do I have any water, like, or ground coverage? Oh, I have Bubble Beam. So, yeah. 
I also I don't have any normal coverage for things like Kangaskhan. Cause I don't have any fighting type moves. I need Rock Smash. I believe I get Rock Smash. Or there's a way to get Rock Smash. Unless I have it. I don't even remember. Um, do I? Nope. Just cut. Come on, Rhyhorn. I'm sorry, I won't call you Rhydon. Even though it just makes sense. Not the evolution line makes sense. The phrasing makes sense. Like, why would you ride on a Rhyhorn? Wouldn't you ride on a Rhydon? I'm gonna not risk anything. I was gonna run. Probably not smart, though. I don't know how my levels are compared to the next gym. Oh, you jerk. I have enough HP to run. Just because of all the ground and rock types that I'll be running into, I'm gonna switch you. Switch you. There we go. Can't believe I've kept a Butterfree on this team for so long. A Butterfree. Yes. <clears throat> I will hurt you. Unless it's a Helioptile. Of course it's a Helioptile. That's the one thing they use to counter the fact that you're going to try to use a water type. Well, I mean... How much will this do? Please don't have Thunderbolt. Mudslap. What kind of electric type are you? I guess one who likes to lower my accuracy, but Tentacle don't care. Phew. Phew. Yeah, Tentacle don't care about no Mudslap. Oh wait, I have Clear Body. I was wondering why it didn't show my accuracy lowering, but I didn't think it showed the ability. It didn't show the ability going off. That was weird. I don't know. Ooh, a Sky Trainer! What's Flitchinger's HP like? Oh, good. Your HP is good. The Butterfree's out front, but that's actually a good thing. Let's fight you. Yeah! I haven't gotten to fight a sky battle in so long. Hledian. <gasps> okay. I heard you like rocks. If only I had a rock type. I heard you also like flying. Oh, you jerk. You know what, before you try anything funny, like that, heh, <laughs> you don't land, but I do. 75% accuracy. I was gonna say accurate, but accuracy came out, it's like accuracy. Ha. And now, you die. I mean, I can use Ember, which is super effective and special. Or Peck, which is super effective and physical. And that was a crit. That was a sad crit. A very sad crit. And Fletchinder, I believe, at this point, is still physical. I'll check your stats, because I'm going to kill this thing anyway. 33, special attacks 26. Yeah, 7 point difference. I believe the medic cham was like a 14 point difference in attack and defense. The 7 points just reminded me of that. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> it's sad that only they get the experience, so. I don't need Whirlwind. 
What use am I going to have for, for like, blowing an opponent away? Except when I blow them away in battle. <laughs> Dust ball. It's useful for the cave. So, this episode has been going on for quite a while, so... I'm going to end it right here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Oh,